All right, welcome back, guys. This is uh, part four of the series that we did the time capsule network media upgrade. Uh, what we got here, guys, uh, once you get your Apple TV connected here, you can see this is your main interface. Um, this is their advertising at the top, you know, movies that are out. These are your options here, settings. You can go in there to settings as you can see this is where you adjust everything audio video airplay um, your internet options your iTunes store account airplay which computers you can hit menu on your remote um, that comes with Apple TV um, to do that uh, for example let's say you go into movies uh, for example I'll show you this here say I go over to my purchase like I said I just recently started purchasing iTunes movies so it's something new I'm trying out so you can see here, we've got a couple purchase ones. So, for example, you know, let's go into uh, this one here. You just click that. Now, see this? I can just click play. Now, this is actually coming out of the cloud. You know, iTunes Cloud. So, this is cloud based. Um, this is the 1080p copy of this movie. It was just recently released. So. Um, I've got uh, Comcast uh, cable modem, uh, the Blast service, so I don't have any uh, download uh, issues. This movie's uh, just beginning uh, to play, and that's that. I mean, there's no buffering, there's no issues, or no issues, <laughs> no issues there, guys. Um, you know, that's a movie from the cloud. Uh, for example, just keep hitting menu on your remote here. You can get back to the main menu. Apologize for my sniffles. Central Illinois, we got a snowstorm. I caught a little bit of a cold, but it's not going to keep me from working. So, if you got iTunes Match, I have that. You can turn that on. That's going to basically pull up all of your music that you've got in iTunes um, and make that available. Then, you know, whatever you've uploaded to the cloud. Um, so, you can see that cloud there logo is filling. Uh, what that's doing, this is all of my music that I've actually uploaded originally to the cloud, which I've purchased or, you know, I've uploaded elsewhere. So uh, I recommend that uh, iTunes match. Uh, it's great. I mean, they back up your music if they match it so you get better quality if you didn't have it. So um, you guys might want to check that out. Maybe worth your time. And here's all the stock apps that are built in. Uh, Netflix, Hulu, you know, YouTube. Um, I will tell you under settings here, uh, when I first got this, I went under general. Um, did go ahead and do the update software. Um, there was an update available. Um, and as you can tell here, um, this is the current version, Apple uh, 5.2, running at 1080p HD, 60 hertz. I believe that's, uh, that's the only maximum for, uh, rate out of the Apple TV. It's not as anything to do with my TV. I think there's a... There's no scaling yet for that, so 60, even though we're making 240 hertz, really nothing's doing that. So, um, like I said, that was uh, the Apple TV uh, coming off of there. Um, so let me show you guys real quick while I'm still sitting here at the TV. I'm going to come down here to my iPad. Uh, this is the newest iPad with Retina featuring the, the lightning connector. Um, so let's say, for example... Uh, you're on your iPad. I even got this video, you know, Skyfall's on here. So if I were to click that, for example, let me go ahead and play. You guys all know how to do that. Well, if you'll notice now, here's, see that? That's the AirPlay icon. Well, if you click that, see how it says iPad, Airport Express, or Apple TV. Well, I want to play that on Apple TV. So flick Apple TV. Now, all of a sudden, look up on my TV. And that movie is going to airplay through my network from the iPad through the Apple TV. You know, that is wireless. So it's also people are talking about hiccups, dropouts on the airplay. Um, I'm airplaying from iPad to Apple TV, hardwired Ethernet with a very fast connection um, locally. So um, it's the newest iPad running on 5 gig network through the time capsule. So I can't say about the dropout. Um, I've not experienced any. But like I said, folks, that is uh, the AirPlay. Uh, but let me show you the best feature of Time Capsule. And the reason why I got that was not so much to switch my network and just, you know, try the Apple products. And I will say that it's not its permanent home, but those may be the permanent home. So um, the big thing is going to the backup. So let me come over to my uh, desk, which I'll be doing a uh, setup tour for you guys. So, yes, it is a 
27 inch Samsung LED for Windows 8 have to have that born on Windows love Windows so uh, for example here if you come over to uh, the MacBook Pro retina uh, you can see we had the you know we were messing with the uh, airport utility show the base station you can see that same logo on the top for airplay which is right here yeah we can go ahead and click that we can actually mirror the display of the retina click Apple TV now if we come back over to my TV you can see we've just mirrored that that was seamless um, and that's feature built right in so I recommend that for any of your airplane you know if you want to for example uh, airplay is available on the Mac Mini as well so uh, navigate on the Mac Mini up to there uh, click to Apple TV of course and so what you see on the screen is what we're gonna see right here um, as you can see these were through Comcast but these were the speeds I was able to obtain using Chicago Illinois speakeasy.net speed test 25 meg down for upload that's Comcast Blast service uh, 6495 a month I believe is what they charge um, but you can actually see the other important thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, I'll show you on both here's the Mac Mini and here is on uh, the Retina you see this logo on the top right top corner here next to the AirPlay that's uh, Time Time Machine you can go ahead and uh, if you want just open up Time Machine preferences and you can see here select disk Time Machine's on of course I've already done this because I use it but if I select disk it's grayed out because it's on it's already set up and this is what I'm connected to I'm on the time capsule and that's what I want to do um, I could simply click back up now and as you can see the hourglass is spinning and it's looking for backup disk so it's going to find the time capsule on its own so you can see data time capsule because that's what I've already set up in there it's going to find that on its own and then do a backup of that so and these backups as you already know how time machine works you know local snapshots as space permits hourly for the past 24 daily over the last month and weekly for all previous months that's looking for well it's looking for its backup disk it's going to begin to prepare for its backup and in the same sense we can go ahead and back up now the Mac Mini you can see it's working all while still airplane so and if that's not enough um, doing this from the iPhone 5 where you know we're airplane we're streaming movies we're backing up the time capsule so the time capsule has got two devices doing backups right now so let's go right back into our movie and I want to show you guys here play this is through cloud iTunes cloud without any issue we want to resume playing that so I just want to show you guys the performance of having you know two of your machines your Macs running backup and while streaming the movie it's you know the, the it's still going you know your backups are going the movie's still going um, so all in all I mean so far I'm pretty convinced that this is a, a new suite enhancement uh, I'm gonna do some further enhancements I'm gonna do an additional video but like I said this concludes part four of the series where we took the uh, time capsule we took the Apple TV and we took a base station. I'm going to add two more base stations upstairs. I have a two-story uh, townhome here. So uh, we've got, like I said, everything was connected there. Hard line back to the time capsule with this cable. And this one's fed to a switch, which the other PCs that you see are connected. The Mac um, is performing its time machine backup, folks. Um, and it's doing at a pretty good rate, um, and that is on uh, wireless, just to let you know, folks. Uh, Thunderbolt is not connected here, adapter. It's uh, sitting over here, so um, decent speed going there. Like I said, we've also got the uh, backup running on the Mac Mini, um, so we can open the time machine preferences to look at that. Um, as you can see, that was a small backup, and it's almost complete because I'd already run one. So. Like I said, folks, I uh, hope you enjoy this is part four of the summary, the final uh, wrap-up. You know, we hooked up the TV, we did the base station, we did the time capsule, we set the backups, we showed you airplane and airplay mirroring uh, while doing backups, and we showed airplay um, off the iPad. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe.